Guys, let's go back to one of the NBA games of former PBA import, David Third Kill. He played for the Pure Foods hot dog team in the late 80s. During this time, he was playing with the Boston Celtics team, alongside with the great two-time MVP Larry Bird. They are up against the tandem of Julius Irving and Charles Barkley of the Philadelphia 76ers. The highlight of the four of them will be shown in this match. Have to get out there and play some defense against him. Celtics control. Maybe they don't know he's not in there yet. Come on. Alley oop and a dramatic one with Barkley one handed from Julius Irving. He has been one of the key players. Celtics by one. There's the man we've been talking about with his first points of the ball game. He leads the Celtics, does Larry Bird, and is shooting 56% in his last seven games. One on one. Dennis Thompson over Barkley. Bird. Bird again. On the ball is Bobby Jones. Bill Walton. One of the big cheerleaders on the bench for the Boston Celtics is Larry Bird has four points. And now it's a seven-point Celtic lead. Timeout. 22nd timeout. Philadelphia. Well, the Celtics have absolutely done what they wanted to do in, in every department except really push it up quickly. Their low post game is limited. They don't have as many options. Looking for Moses Malone. Shooting over Larry Bird is Julius Irving, and it drops through. So the doctor, who is the second leading scorer on his team, brings the Sixers again within five. Reborn basketball player, Irving. Bird tried for the fake, and Irving burned him with a stuff shot. And it's now a 23-21 to ball game in favor of the Celtics. Nice job to deny Moses' position down there. The Celtics have replaced Larry Bird with David's third kill, number 45. As Moses Malone goes in with the shot, the rebound by Charles Barkley inside and just overpowers any everyone there to bring the Sixers to within two. Just the out with the Celtics, so they've got nothing to complain about on that score. They do on that turnover. Celtics with one second to go, and the shot misses. So as Tommy mentioned, it's been kind of a half-court game, some spark by Barkley and Walton. But to score a little bit inside for them. In their win over the Celtics, he did play a role did Clement Johnson with four block shots and six points. An interesting matchup going on right now. Bird having to guard Barkley. Barkley gets the point there and the Sixers have tied it up at 29. Nick Stockton. Irving is guarding Bird. Parrish over Malone way off. But there's Bird. Playing Larry Bird is like playing a computer. <laughs> no one's been able to run though effectively in this game. You got it Dick. I'm surprised. <laughs> Barkley crashing in, and the basket counts in a foul. Wedman was guarding him, but Danny Ames moved over to double-team him, and that's <laughs> Wedman. Celtics will have to take a close look at that. Barkley with a three-point play. 47-46. to 46. No one is guarding Barkley. Three brings it up. Three seconds. Malone. And that's the end of the first half. Can't be much closer than this. 51-50 to 50 in favor of the Boston Celtics. Oh, over a lot, Dick. Uh, and against the big guy, this is a real challenge to a Dennis John. Irving gets to tip his way in the easy two. Julius has six points in the ball game. And it's a three-point. DJ point. outside as it is for DJ to guard Dr. J inside. And no basket. Julius Irving protesting that. The foul was against the doctor. Offensive foul, four on Julius. Celtics by one. Nine on the shot clock, and Julius knocks it from behind. The duck, Dennis Johnson, and goes in. Good defensive play by Julius Irving, and that's one of the things he can do with the luxury of playing off guard as opposed to forward. Putting a little quickness on him. Also, Parrish laying a pick to delay D Dr. J. He gets caught from behind, but those long arms allow him to poke it out away. And watch this. This is the old Dr. J with the high flyer. Moses Malone to the line. David third kill. Comes back in the ball game. 22 minutes against Golden State on Friday. Had a career high of 20 points. And career high of 8 rebounds. So three wide open. And he's been a hot shooter today. Not that time. But there's Barkley. What a rebound there. What a terrific rebound by Charles Barkley. Nine 
rebounds for Charles Barkley, but more start to take those long-range shots and try to get on the mark going into the fourth. Bobby Jones is so smart, he's going to stay with them. He doesn't go for the fakes. Second foul. Bird fakes the three and the foul. And that he could pick up the foul. Jones has three fouls, and Julius Irving comes back in. Bobby Jones goes, Jones is fresh enough late in the game to go against Bird in the fourth period. They were all cute that style, and I'm sure Bobby Jones is part of that defensive posture that he likes to put out on the court. Bird reaches double figures, so Julius Irving is playing three. He was hoping to gamble on three, but this is his second in a row, but there's Barkley. Barkley again. And Barkley went underneath when the ball went over the top to try to save it there. He couldn't, but what a hustle by Charles Barkley. Celtics are flat-footed. He's looking for a possible three. Wharton comes from behind for a defensive play. He said he liked the big games. Here's Bird for three. Skirmish inside. Third kill winds up with it with 140 remaining in the third period. Four-point lead for Philadelphia. And the Celtics trying to cut it some more. Three-point attempt third. <laughs> and Philly comes up with nothing. Not even the ball. Bird, final shot of the period. It's good. His third three-pointer of the period. That's the end of the third period. And they're quiet no longer in Boston. The Celtics lead the Sixers 82 to 78. Unlike Robert Parrish, who was taking like fall away jumper, jumpers against Moses, Walton was taking it right to him on the catch and scoring some easy hoops. Lemon Johnson is at center. So they're going to have Johnson and Walton, the two backup centers, battling here in the final period. Third kill goes in with his first points. He found a lane and stuffed it through. Fast break style. Steal. Bird. Seaston. Bird. And the Boston bench loves it. Early in this half, they've missed 10 of their last 12 shots. Third kill is on Irving. Ten points for Julius. That's their low post, man. He does. They have more potential low post players than the Celtics do. Bobby Jones is on Larry Bird to try to quiet him down. Harris misses. Third. Quickly, quick follow up by third kill. He's got a knack. He's got quick feet, and he he's got that aggressive attitude. Fast break that time to sixes, but Jay pulled it out. Inside block shot. Irving and Barkley misses. Barkley again. Barkley again. And it's 88 to 86, Barkley with 19, and Casey Jones wants to talk it over. The spark now is Charles Barkley. He has been a spark this entire ball game. 88 to 86, the crowd is quieted again. Back and forth they go with a lot of time remaining. He's a, he's a guy at this point in a ball him. game that they go to and they count on to effectively demolish the defense of the other team. There's Kevin Barkley, meanwhile, with 21 points and 14 rebounds. So this is the time of the game when uh, the battering takes its effect. Well, here's the guy that's really got to produce Robert Parrish. And he hasn't. He sure hasn't. Cheeks. Barkley comes out of nowhere and follows it up. He has taken over this ball game as Charles Barkley. Lock shot inside. Clemen Johnson. Julius Irving. Basket good and a foul. Julius Irving. 
with a tremendous foray to Dr. J that we remember through most of his career, except that Moses has been on the bench and Philadelphia has gone from six or eight down into a three-point lead and Moses is going to come back fresh. Soon. Yeah, but they were doing it against the smaller Celtic team. Right now, the Celtics have the big team in there and Moses would help the height situation for the Sixers. And Bobby Jones is in on Bird. Bird, that's what they want. Bird to get into it now. Bird, the front court. Bird. Hit on the elbow and we'll go to the line. The players, you know, it's like uh, he was being undermined. He moves. They have signed Bob McAdoo and the Philadelphia 76ers. The Sixers offer, and they have until January 31st to do it, and they just may do it. Barkley inside. Great move by Charles Barkley. Notice they don't talk about his weight right anymore. at Barkley the other end. Cheeks to Barkley. The nail freed at midcourt. That's what happens when the spectacular doesn't work. You lose a basket. To the game. One-point lead and two minutes remaining. Philadelphia in front. Malone. We are seeing stellar defense at both ends by both teams. Bird. The three-pointer. 28 points for Larry Bird. And Philadelphia wants a timeout. He doesn't do it, and Walt gets another rebound. A big miss. And Barkley clobbers Walton and will help him up. To the clock. I thought it was pretty good now. At the line. And he has the two big ones here. And now the Celtics lead by three. Barkley is six for thir 33 from three points. Cheeks goes in and draws the foul. He was going up against Bill Walton. And Cheeks will go to the line with 29 seconds to go. So Philadelphia knows it will get the ball back again. They need the free throws, and then they need defense. Cheek so far today. Either drive strong to the hoop, or hit somebody going to the basket for an easy layup. Cheek's second, nine on the shot clock. One point Boston lead. Bird can't get it off, fires it up. Boston and they can run out the clock and a Philadelphia foul but throws for Dennis Johnson he hits the first and it's 105 102 three seconds to go that forces the ball to come back to the middle Barkley is fouled and he'll now Barkley has got to make what has he got two got to make one and he's then they got to get a rebound okay nine for nine from the line is Barkley but he's got to make that first one Does. Now, the rebound. Here it is. It's off the rim. Harris has it. The game is over. And the Boston Celtics have won their eighth consecutive game, beating the Philadelphia 76ers.